the Master of Science in Nursing webinar. My name is Barbara Juhas. Oh, just realized I don't have my camera on, sorry. There we go. Hi, everyone. Um, I may have already spoken to some of you. Um, I am a dedicated nursing advisor and I work a lot with this program. So I am not alone. I am definitely joined by our, our superstar, our lead faculty and program director. Um, we have Dr. Kristen Lombard, she's here. I'm gonna have her jump on and have her talk about herself. Talk about myself. So hi everybody, it's great to, uh, to have you with us today. Today we're gonna talk about the master's program. Um, and maybe if we just uh, head to the next slide. Um, I am the Associate Dean for our Nursing Education Department as well as the MSN Director. So I've been intimately involved with the creation um, and operationalization of this program with some amazing um, fellow faculty members who have a passion uh, and expertise in holistic nursing and their various content areas. Um, and we have had so much fun creating this entire curriculum um, and very pleased to have it um, have it available at this time. So one thing to say about our nursing education program at Pacific College of Health and Science is that it started in 2009, um, developed by Carla Mariano, who's one of the, uh, the godmothers, co-founders of American Holistic Nursing Association, Nurses Association. And, um, and then we went online at about, so we started with an RN to BSN program and then we created a holistic certificate program. And um, then in 2017, we went online. So we started to be able to work. We were originally in New York City. Um, uh, so now we've been able to start working around with individuals from around the country. Um, and that has been so rich for so many reasons. We have a, a 40 credit master's program that is based on the foundations of um, holistic nursing, um, relationship-centered care, caring, healing curricula. And um, we're very um, dedicated to creating an environment where not only the students thrive and um, develop a strong community um, and also where the faculty and staff thrive as well. So we, I would say from uh, just a, an overarching perspective that we are a nursing, holistic nursing program that has a very bold mission and vision. And that is essentially to transform healthcare and transform nursing education. We would like all nursing education to be this way. And in fact, our students say, why wasn't my uh, associate degree or my bachelor's degree like this? So we know, we know we're on the right track. What we recognize in the process of transforming healthcare and transforming nursing education is that that transformation has to start within us each individually. So our program is very much about personal and professional transformation. So where you start at the beginning is very, it can be very different from where you are at the end. So it's a really very exciting um, prospect of studying and um, working together in this way. So you can see here that we actually were the first MSN coach, nurse coach program in the country. 
we started our program in um, fall of 21. So we are now one year almost, uh, we've one year in and um, so we don't have graduates at this time, um, but they are probably getting into um, halfway through the program and some of them are have just started uh, they're just deciding right now are they going to go down the nurse educator holistic nurse educator track or are they going to go down the holistic nurse coach track so that is really exciting because we're starting in um, our specialty tracks for winter of 23. we come from good stock i want to say in fact i even have that very thing here is um, in 2022, June, uh, all of us here to the left, we have uh, Caroline Ortiz, uh, Dr. Jen Reich, Dr. Mitzi Myers, me, Dr. Kristen Lombard, and then our um, uh, former president, our new president of the HNA. Um, but we won the, we were awarded the um, Holistic Nursing Education Excellence in Holistic Nursing Education Award. And we were absolutely thrilled. So how we designed our RN to BSN program, which is also uh, is ASIN accredited, um, is very much how we have developed our master's program. So we're very excited about that. Okay, next. So as I mentioned, we've got 40 credits. We have 22 core credits. And in a little bit, we'll show you the, um, the courses that we have and how it breaks down into the various uh, tracks. Um, and then 18 specialized track credits. Holistic focus, um, innovative, how we, do, how we do holistic nursing is, um, pretty beautiful. It's about reflective practice. It's about state of the art, evidence-based um, content and how we create, and, and we also create a caring healing curriculum where we work hard to build a learning community for everybody. Our courses, the didactic pieces of our courses are 100% online. They are, um, some synchronous classes so for instance for our we're all 14 week classes we have uh typically uh two to three ish uh webinars per semester that we uh, encourage everybody to be at um we record all of our uh live classes and otherwise you are doing asynchronous work where you have deadlines um, to do particular assignments each week. So there's some flexibility about how you schedule your time for the week. Um, it's not a self-paced kind of um, format that we use, though there is some self-pacing within that week. Obviously you can um, create a schedule for yourself that uh, allows you to meet the deadline which are usually Sunday nights at uh, 11.59 Eastern. Uh, so that's the didactic coursework. Within the this program, we also have um, practica, clinical practica that we, uh, that you would do in your own locale. So we, we help you kind of brainstorm what that could look like. Um, the clinical practica within the master's program is about three or four terms in, depending on how many classes you are taking per uh, semester. Um, so the first one is leadership uh, that has 45 hours of clinical practica. Um, and also at the end of each of the tracks, we have two uh, practica, practicum one and practicum two capstone and those are each 90 and 90. So altogether for this program, we have 225 hours of clinical uh, practicum. We've got the two tracks, 
the nurse educator, which has you um, potentially working in academia, community college, four-year college, universities, um, or it may look like uh, something like a professional development specialist where, who's working in various clinical uh, settings and organizations. The old staff development uh, role now has been completely expanded and it's a very exciting role. Um, or you can do a holistic nurse coach track. And how the nurse coaches are working now includes um, working in a traditional one-to-one, -one, maybe with certain kinds of populations or genders or um, particular foci, uh, or maybe it's in the community, or maybe it's, it's uh, mentoring, coaching within an organization. It really uh, is, um, you can be very creative about how this coaching um, degree is used. So we encourage, in, we're very innovative and we're very out of the box. Um, and we encourage you to be too, when you think about what kinds of things you wanna do, how you want to focus, what's your passion. We are accredited in regionally through WASC and this master's program, which started last fall, is in candidacy with the ASIN and our site visit is scheduled for March of 23. That's the official accreditation um, visit. Okay, what's the next slide? Okay, so um, I mentioned earlier, we're going to talk a little bit about the core courses as well as the specialty tracks and the courses that are done here. Uh, we all start with a perspectives in holistic nursing. This is an overview of holistic nursing theory and role so that everybody's on the same page as far as what is what the heck is a holistic nurse? And what are we doing and how do we do it? How do we be? There's also one of the few nursing schools in the country that teach psychoneuroimmunology, which is the science, the evidence base of mind, body, spirit, um, healthcare and medicine and physiology and um, how they all interact with in self and interrelated to environment um, and fact, other factors. Theories of learning and change. So remember, we have a nurse educator track, which is all about learning and change. And we also have a nurse, educa uh, nurse coach track, which is all about learning and change, right? We're helping individuals uh, create shifts with, within their lives. So we need to know how people learn and how people are motivated and, and how people get to a place of being ready for change. People, communities, populations, those kinds of things. Then we have an advanced research course that is about, um, we integrate holistic research. So that makes it different from any other research course. Um, we have, an advanced pathophysiology, holistic health assessment, and integrative farm course. That is, uh, all of our courses are three credits except for this one because it's a mouthful and it's, you know, it's a, um, I would say a, a full semester. Um, and that said, this is not a nurse practitioner program. This is a nurse educator and a nurse coach program. So we are not heavy on uh, something, the kinds of things and diagnoses, uh, diagnosing that uh, an APRN would be, would need for uh, what we call the three Ps, pathophysiology, farm. Okay, uh, if you go back just one, I was almost done. And then we have uh, advanced leadership. This is the course where you have uh, your first clinical so you can see we're several courses in before, um, before doing that, that's 45 hours. And that is basically a process improvement project that you do in a clinical setting. 
Next, we have nurse as facilitator of healing modalities, where we start to introduce various uh, healing modalities, uh, give you some experience in doing some of these. And we also talk about how we are not the healers, but in fact, we are the facilitators of healing for others. And so we we think about what needs to, what are the, co the conditions that need to be in place for us to facilitate healing. Okay, now I'm ready for the next one. Thank you. So if we, let's take the nurse coach um, track first. We start with role of the holistic nurse coach. And what I'll say about this particular it, at the get-go is that all of these courses um, are seven weeks. So, um, so you have seven week, uh, you have one course at the beginning of the 14 week semester and then another course at the end of the seven week, uh, 14 week semester. Coaching techniques with diverse populations across the lifespan, coaching process, assessment, entrepreneurship, um, this is important, too, because many of our students and applicants actually have have their eyes on having their own business. So we want to be sure that they have some uh, basic information about how to start a business within the integrative care landscape. And then we have the two practica that I was mentioning earlier. The first practicum is about, um, you know, figuring out what it is that you want to study. Uh, and doing an assessment of that area. And then the practicum two in capstone is actually implementing that um, project and then evaluating that. So that becomes the capstone and then you write that up. Okay, so that is the nurse coach track. Let's, yeah, so next we have the nurse educator track. So what's different about the nurse educator track is just because of the complexity of um, nursing education and all that goes into uh, curriculum development and um, teaching, learning, those kinds of things. Uh, we have each one of these courses, they're all three credits, but they are a full 14 week course, each one of these. So we have the role, so we understand all the ways that we can manifest and the important, uh, important um, basic of uh, holistic core values and ethics, et cetera. And then we get into teaching and evaluation methods. And again, this is holistic nursing. So it's, it's we're, we're taking into consideration all ways of knowing and way, all very creative and innovative ways of um, evaluating whether someone has learned something. We have uh, curriculum design, implementation and assessment, educational technologies um, for teaching and professional development. And then we have, and that's very, very much about uh, what's the cutting edge, um, uh, did ways of digital learning, which is kind of what we're doing, right? Uh, online learning, distance education. And then we have the practicum and the practicum one and practicum two with the capstone. Very much similar is the first one is about assessment and, and figuring out how you're going to focus um, tools that you're going to use to assess, doing the research, and then the practicum two, the research on now that I've assessed this, what does the literature say? And then um, the, the last one is um, now we're going to implement it and we're also going to evaluate it and then we're going to write it up. So the, the, that is the program outline for the nurse educator and the nurse coach with the basic curriculum as a foundation. Okay, what's next? So uh, career opportunities, some of these I mentioned working in um, academia and teaching like what we love to do. Um, and that can be in academia or it could be in uh, other healthcare org organizations and settings, inpatient, outpatient, um, tertiary, um, in the community. 
and hospitals. Um, yeah, I'm I'm looking at patient education, change management, nursing, interprofessional development, mentoring. These are things that um, the professional development specialist does, and this is the expanded role in um, helping to support change within uh, cultures and organizations through education and mentoring. And then we have uh, maybe it's a position that you that you would work in a large system. We have so many conglomerate healthcare systems. Um, so maybe it's more at a, a higher level where you're then overseeing program programs, you know, throughout the system. Uh, private practice is always a possibility. Uh, consulting uh, with individuals, groups, organizations, systems, and communities. So again, what's your dream? What is your focus? How innovative do you want to be? And let's help you get there. So next slide, please. Okay, so you would, after you graduate, um, you could, you would be ready to sit if you have the, the requisite uh, practice experience. We give you some, some practice experience in hours, 225 hours, um, but uh, cert some certifications require more. So, um, the AHN, the American Holistic Nursing Credentialing Center, <clears throat> you could do the, the Advanced Holistic Nurse Board Certified. You could do the Nurse Coach Board Certified. Um, you could also do the, the Holistic Nurse Board Certified, and that is, you only need a bachelor's degree to do that. You could get certified through the ANCC for the Professional Development Specialist, and again, there are certain practice criteria. We help with um, you know, getting those hours in, but you may need to either do it on the after graduation or maybe you have significant experience already before you even come into the program. Um, as well, the, the National League for Nurses CNE certification, which is the Certified Nurse Educator role. Those two, the PDS and the CNE, are through the nurse educator track. Okay. Okay. So is Barbara, shall I shall I give it to you? Yes, ma'am. I am on. Thank you all. Thank you so much. So I'm going to go over um, the logistics of being how the program is presented and as a student, what you'll be doing. So the, the program itself is 100% online. So it is a combination of both asynchronous and synchronous format. So asynchronous means that you're on your own. You will have discussion questions weekly. Faculty will be uploading videos, there'll be research papers. Um, the synchronous aspect of it is the live Zoom meetings that you'll have. We um, were able to schedule four in each course because they're 15 weeks. So think of it as like one, one, one every month for the four months. And they're typically Tuesdays. Um, when you are cleared to start and you register for your classes, you will know those exact dates and times way ahead of time, way before you start. So we find that they're very popular. People try really hard to be on. Worst case scenario, if you get called into work or can't get out of work, you're working a double um, or just life happens, they are recorded. But we do find that most students really do try to be on live because those are the, you know, you get to see your faculty and um, all your classmates. Um, and then the other thing that is great, because I always hear people, a lot of nurses asking me this question on the phone about jobs. Well, getting into a program like this, you're going to be pretty much 
surrounded by nurses all over the nation that have direct contacts with holistic um, holistic health. So it's a lot of it's a great way to network. So kind of sticking together and kind of building that. So this is definitely great and not just within the United States, also internationally as well. Um, completion wise, this program is flexible in terms of how you choose or how many classes you choose to attend every term. We have three terms in one year. So you could start out with one course, for example. We have our winter term that's coming right now on January 3rd. You could start out with the intro course and fill it out and then decide at spring, which is May, that you want to go and try two courses. If you did the program full time, which means that you commit to two courses every 15 weeks, then you're looking at two years and four months. You have up to five years to complete the program. And if you're um, able to pay as you go or do a payment plan option, which is where you break up the cost of one course into four month payments, it's a very popular option for this program. You can do that. We also accept tuition reimbursement. That's another popular thing. Um, let's just say you don't, you're not in a position financially to do any of that, then there's financial aid. And since this is a graduate program, as long as you qualify, there is graduate student loans that you can borrow. Um, I also do have an email I can send you with scholarship links to, but the um, financial aid would just be the um, graduate student Stafford loans that you can borrow and pay back at a low interest rate. And the amount that they allow you to borrow is way more needed for this program. So you can always return back what you don't want to borrow. And then as far as prerequisites go for this program, sorry, I jumped the button here. Um, we do require students that are applying to this program, they must have an accredited BSN program and they must be a registered nurse. Um, we do have a list of what we call no-go states. So we went ahead and put that in the chat so if you happen to reside in one of those states, um, the only way out of it is if you are a traveling nurse or you have a residence in another state that's approved and your, license, your RN license is also, um, your license to work in a different state as well. So that list does change, it does update. So when approvals come in, then they, states fall off that list. For example, Alaska was the most recent one that we had approved. Um, the other major requirement is the GPA. We do have you order all of your nursing transcripts and we do a cumulative GPA. So um, if it falls below a 3.0, we have conditional as long as it's 2.75. Um, we don't go any lower than 2.75. And if those are areas of concern, then you can definitely reach out to me. I've can definitely talk to you about options there. Okay, and then admission steps. Like I said, right now we're enrolling for our winter term, January. Everyone's favorite time of year where everyone has their New Year's resolution and they wanna start something new in their life or actually commit to something. So why not start your MSN, right? Um, so, if that's the case, then all you would need to do is reach out to me and I can send you directions on how to apply. You can complete the application and then you're able to submit all these other forms. So we need all of your official nursing transcripts. If you transferred credits into those credits from another school, then yes, we need those too. We need a copy of your RN license. It can be also what's on the state site as long as it's like a PDF and it shows your license number and the state and that um, there are basically that you're um, in the green. And then we need an updated copy of your resume that shows your nursing background. And then we have two professional recommendations. And so we made this part very much easier. So instead of having two people go out and write uh, a, a letter that they probably would love to write about you because they love you guys so much, but we all know how time is precious we turn this into a survey option. So we basically will send a link to them, email it. It Literally, they click on it, it takes them five minutes, they fill it out, done. Then the final piece is a personal statement. So you're just gonna be basically 
writing about, you know, why are you wanting to pursue holistic nursing? Like, why are you in this webinar right now? Um, you know, so I don't have a problem at all with this because people are excited and they want to go this route. So, and then once I collect all those documents from you, then I process you and then we wait to see if you're approved. And then once you are approved, then we have you go through registration.